every good searcher has a lot of tools in their toolkit so they can be really professional, very precise, and really get to what they want very quickly and very accurately. In this lesson, we're going to cover two new operators that will help you make your queries a little bit more focused, a little bit more on target. That's the OR operator and double quotes. And let me show you what I mean by both of those. You use quotes, that is double quotes, when you want to look for a precise phrase. Here's a phrase that seems kind of obscure when Venus, the goddess of beauty and love. Now, I happen to know that that's a lyric from an old song, but let's what, see what happens when we actually do a search for that without the quotes. Let me do the search. When Venus, the goddess of beauty and, and love. Now I'm gonna do the search, no quotes. I misspelled it, so I'll click the spell correction, and you see there are a lot of great results here about Venus, Aphrodite, and so on, but they're not exactly on target, because what I'm looking for is a specific lyric of a specific song. So I know this is the correct phrase, so what I'm going to do is add the double quote. Double quote at the beginning, and double quote at the end. Now what this does is a phrase search. That is, it's going to search for exactly these words in exactly the sequence. Phrase search. So now you see here, we've got Nottingham Ale, uh, a lesson, which is a lesson of using that example. Um, more examples here. So I'm going to click the first one. And you'll see, in fact, there it is. There's the lyric right here, when Venus, the goddess of beauty and love. So you see what happens. Using the double quote gives you the phrase search. Let me show you one more example, just to cement this idea. Now, my name is really common, Daniel Russell. So I'm going to search for that. And you can see here, there are a lot of results here, um, not necessarily all me. A bunch of them are, but there are these, all these attractive people in the middle. Uh, and some of them, as you can see, use a different spelling of the name. So what I'm going to do is search for exactly Daniel Russell. I'm going to use quotes to find exactly that pair of words in that sequence. And you see here, in fact, now we've got a bunch more results with the doll Daniel Russells, which is great. But you see here, there's a Daniel Russell with one L. It's not the one I want. So now what I can do is I'm going to go and put double quotes around just the word. See what this is? It does just this spelling. No spelling correction at all. So I'm going to put double quotes around Russell. Now notice I've got actually double quotes around the single term Russell and double quotes around the phrase Daniel Russell. So what I'm looking for is Daniel with Russell with two L's, not one. So when I do this search, you'll see now the only hits are in fact for Daniel Russell with the correct spelling. So you see what double quote does. It can be used to do a phrase search or it can be used to give you exact spelling of a single word. Two different uses for the same operator. So you see when I do a double quote as a phrase, you get exactly that phrase. When you do double quote around, around a single word, single term, you get exactly that term. Now, be careful, because if you misspell that word, you're not going to get the results you think. So you have to know that you're searching for exactly that, that word or phrase. Now, let's turn our attention to the OR operator. Now, OR is the only operator where case matters. That is, it's got to be uppercase. So every example you see here will be uppercase OR. If you use lowercase or or mixed case or, you're searching for that term, which is probably not what you meant. So here in this example, we see that I've done a search for Tesla coil as a quoted phrase or Jacob's ladder. Now, Jacob's ladder is the thing you see in mad scientist laboratories where you have the sparks going up the ladder like that. It's a very impressive device and it's associated with Tesla coils. So in this search, I want to find stuff about Tesla coils or Jacob's ladder. You could think of it this way. If, this, if the phrase for Tesla coil gives you a whole set of results, doing the OR operator will give you the Tesla coil or Jacob's ladder, which will be a larger set of results. So what I mean by this diagram is the, the result set for Tesla coil or Jacob's ladder is much larger. So let me show you this in one more example. I could do a query like this, uh, fish pedicure or spa, because I know that these fish treatments are sometimes referred to as pedicures or as a fish spa. So let's do a search for that. And you see, yes, there are in fact fish that are used to treat dead skin on and, uh, feet and so on. But you get the idea. There are a lot of results here, 
But what I've done is you can see here, I've got the, the term fish in bold. I can see the term spa in bold. Whenever you see the bolded terms, those are the search terms you put in. So fish, spa, pedicure, those are all bolded search terms. In this case, I'm looking for either pedicure, fish pedicure, or fish spa. One more example, just to give you a sense for this. Suppose I'm searching for information about pleurisy. Now, I know pleurisy is a particular problem with the lungs, but I know it's also got another word, which is synonymous for it, or pleuritis. And what I want to do in this case is to find search, search results, which are either this spelling or that spelling, this term or that term. So you see, what we've done here is you, by the use of double quotes to give you exact phrase or exact term, and the use of the term or, the search term or, to actually connect the two synonymous terms, what you can do is hone in precisely on exactly the kind of search result you need and control the synonym expansion a little bit more precisely. So go ahead and try this and see how far you get. These are two great tools to have in your toolkit.